Yo, all right, so first things first, um, this is the first video of 2021, so, uh, wow, it's weird, not having things to really do, I've just been collecting parts, uh, doing research, and my voice is a little funny, it's because I got braces, I'm two weeks in on these invisible braces, it said I can get my gap going in four months, so we'll see how Smile Direct does for me, but it gives me kind of like a little lisp, still getting used to it, but we got all these boxes here. Um, most of it's from ShopDap, and we got more coming still. I still need to get another seat, um, harness bar, harnesses, seat brackets, seat covers for the Kirkies. Well, this should be everything I believe that I need parts-wise to get the motor and trans back together, good to go. The only thing I'm missing, which as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to order. I need the crank. Um, pulley holder tool not not the one you hold it to torque it but like there's one that like threads in and it like keeps the uh the gear that the crank pulley sits on still where you're doing all like the timing stuff and whatnot so i need to order that but tomorrow i'm supposed to be going up to denver to pick up this motor um, i'll pull out the card here the shop they i don't know if they actually did the machine work on the block or not they're doing the port job on the head. If you guys know of free smoke underscore seven R on Instagram, um, he's the homie, he lives up there. He hooked me up with that shop and with the port job and, and all that, he kind of like works with the shop. Anyway, I'll drop his Instagram and stuff down below, but he made 700 something on basically the same engine internal build that I'm doing. Well, literally like the exact same bearings, same rods, pistons, um, valve train stuff, head stuff. Obviously, he has different fueling, different trans, different turbo, all that stuff. But at least I know the engine is capable of that power and to be able to hold it and not explode. So there's that. But I'm going to start. Uh, we already looked through this big box. This was like the whole engine rebuild kit from Shop That. But I didn't get some things um, like the crank bearings and uh, like the clutch hardware and this and that. So we'll start going through. And this box here, I already opened the other day just to double check on part numbers and stuff. But we got all the main bearings here for the crank. Um, some are in boxes, some are not. But they are all here. Definitely going to need those. I'll pull two of them out here to show you guys. And I, I also bought another vehicle. I bought a... I, so my truck that I had, the, I had the, a 98 Sierra 3500 four by four long bed big cab it was a big freaking truck i don't know if you guys remember or not but and that thing with the 7.4 liter it's a 454 it sucked down gas gas like crazy um i never really planned on having that truck as a dd and then because i bought it before my trans blew so i just wanted it to be able to tow because i had bought a trailer well i was going to buy a trailer and i wound up buying a trailer out there i bought a truck anyway but after the trans blue, I'm driving this truck around all the time. Well, it, it sucks on gas. It's not very comfortable. It takes quite a bit of time to get warm. And like, you can only have the air on the high setting. It doesn't work on any other setting. So you're on the highway cruising, you know, you turn it off, you, it, the truck gets cold in like two minutes because the, the doors don't shut right and rattles and this, anyway. The oil pressure started dropping on that thing on cold start real bad. Leaking a little bit of oil at the front main, something I didn't want to deal with, so. When we went to go test drive cars weeks ago, we test drove this Jeep and I fell in love. And I told her, if you're not getting it, I'm getting it. And so I did. And then she wound up buying, a, a, was it like a 2016 uh, Ram 1500 diesel. Um, so we both got new vehicles and the, the Jeep has a tow package. I've already like towed things with it and it tows great. I really, really like it. Power, everything, heated. Front seats, back seats, steering wheel, electric hatch, air ride. So I pull up to the trailer, I hit a button, the whole Jeep lowers, throw the trailer on the hitch, raise it up. I don't even have to use the little lower thing, whatever you call it, like the, the jack. You don't have to use the jack that's built into the trailer really because you can just pick it up, throw it on. Um, super dope, I'll show you guys that. But here's, here's the, raw, or the main bearings. Super shiny. I don't know if I should even be touching these, but I'll clean them off before they go in. 
At least this is like the top the tops. The bottom ones have those slits in them. It's really cool stuff. But so there's that. We got all the bearings. I need to like consolidate this box. What I didn't talk about. So that shop said he was down just to build the motor for me if I wanted to. And I said that would be dope, but I want footage for you guys. So I'm not gonna have them do obviously the whole thing. And I was like, well, because I don't have like the tool to grind. Um, piston rings i don't have the tool to put the piston like the compressor to put the pistons in the motor with the rings on it i don't have any type of measuring tools to measure clearances or anything so i was like well why don't i come up here with the parts and we assemble the short block together and i'll come home and throw the head on do the timing you know everything else on my own he's like yeah i'm down to help you do that you know whatever whatever but i can't record there that's the only thing that sucks so i'll be taking a bunch of pictures and making a, a video out of that and talking about what I learned and this and that. It kind of sucks. I mean, kind of upsetting, but like for me to play it safe, that's the better route. So I think that's what's going to go down. I'm waiting for him to get back to me because I'm supposed to leave the night to go up there. I took tomorrow off. But anyway, I need to get stuff together of what I need to bring up there. So definitely need those. Um, hit up South Bend, ask them for all new hardware and. Um, the alignment tool so i got a, a brand new throw out bearing all new uh pressure plate and uh flywheel hardware and the alignment tool so got all that that was like 200 bucks by itself it was rod bearing. that was like 300 dollars just for the rod bearings i haven't even opened up some of these i got a fluid amper um because everyone should have one on a high revving car um i don't know let me set this now they put it, this box is weird, but you got your certification sticker. Um, you'll need that for, um, I don't know, I guess certain tracks or something require to change things like that. Let me get this. Uh, I ordered this from Shop Bab and it came in like a day. I'm really surprised how fast it came. They sealed this fully in this. Why are they doing like this? Extra protective, I guess. I mean, most of you guys have seen. But it totally looks like so. I'm about to edit the shit out of this. But uh, yeah, new crank pulley. Um, I think I have a new bolt, but I'm gonna get the ARP bolt for this so I can reuse it and it's rated for higher torque. So it's like a hundred dollar bolt, something I still need to order, but we're still like a good week away. I'm gonna order that tool and that bolt. That's like the two things I need. But there's that fluid ampers there. Um, Got a whole box here from FCP and another box from Shop Dap. So let's crack those open real quick. Honestly, guys, I've been ordering so many things from so many different places. It's hard to keep track. I, the only thing I remember ordering from FCP is the new rear main seal. Oh, okay. So new iBed rear main seal. I had bought one from them already. So this is a brand new one. Okay, yeah, and the seal's back there. So um, I'll take the old one, send it back to them. I'll get my money back for this. I got a ton of brake fluid. Um, she needs some and I need some. some obviously, I gotta bleed all the brakes and, uh, and the clutch. So, plenty of uh, 660 there. Some high temp stuff. And then I got, totally forgot about this. I got new front sway bar bushings. Um, I still run the, the front, the stock front sway bar, but uh, the bushing been there for 80,000 miles. So, I figured I pretty much touched everything else in the suspension. Literally everything except for the front sway bar. So I figured I'd replace those bushings. And I pulled the bushings off the rear sway bar. They literally fell apart. And that sway bar has been on there about 30,000 less than the front. So I figured I get the, these are the black ones too. So I actually need to make sure they fit. There's two different sizes. So I need to do that today. Since I have good access to the subframe, I might just toss those on. Give me something to do today. So there's that. Um, today just came in. I kind of, when I was removing the engine, I uh, made a boo boo, kind of set the engine down a little bit quicker than I meant to, and I crushed the or pinched the oil line on the turbo. So I ordered a new line. Uh, I shouldn't have to use these fittings. Actually, this line is different. I'm gonna have to go look on my truck. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is not the right line. This is not the line that I ordered. Damn it. So I might have to use these fittings. They look way too big, and this is not 
This is not right at all. Damn it. Well, glad I opened this today. Babe. Here we got another box from Shop Dap. Still not exactly sure. Oh, okay. So there's another set of. I thought I already ordered brush washers, but definitely gotta bring that. I ordered a um, bunch of extra drain plugs. This should last me the whole year. I do. I change them out like every third or fourth oil change. Ordered um, a handful of extra bolts for the turbo. Um, I figure when I'm putting the studs on, I might run through a couple of these or if one of them strips out, I got some extra turbo bolts. Um, I ordered a bunch of these little screws. These are the ones for the little solenoids for the exhaust cam. Those little solenoids that stick in the back, I about stripped one out, so I figured I'd buy a handful of them to replace. I need to, um, got more Haldex fluid, because I had my, when I had my diff upside down, like doing all the Verkline uh, tubular subframe stuff, there's a, a vent line, and when I had it upside down, it like, it leaked, not a lot, but a little bit out, so. I already have like a half bottle up there, but I figure I'd just do a flush, whatever. And then I got um, a couple extra oil filters. I think I have two or three out there, but with breaking in the motor, I think we're gonna be doing probably like four oil changes in the first thousand miles. So I'm gonna be doing a filter with each one, all that stuff. So what else is in here? Oh, I actually got my, the torque wrench I was using when I was putting my drive shaft back on, um, it was a bad torque wrench, so did I order? Okay, so I ordered three new for the front and three new for the rear. I only need to replace one because I realized that once it almost snapped that the torque wrench was bad. These are two different part numbers, right? Or no, these are the same. So I guess I got six of the same, whatever. And now I got extra for the rear, rear uh, for the rear. So, bunch of stuff here. These have definitely got to go with me, along with the bearings there. I thought there was more I had to bring. I guess not. All types of little things leading up to getting this thing back together. My timeline here is I'm hoping if, if he gets back to me today and I'm going tonight to go get this, that um, well, either it's going to be this weekend or next weekend, but I'm just going to work. If I don't, get it tonight, I'm gonna pull all the old parts out of those bins I have out there and start uh, cleaning up everything. I could have been doing that, but it's been kind of cold recently and this and that. Today it's like 60 some, so I figured I could at least get a head start, because I want to clean up at least all the mating surfaces to where everything mounts on the motor, but it's just been so cold and I don't want to be out in the garage just scrubbing cold metal with cold hands and brake cleaner and all that. So um, that's about the only other thing. Once I pick that stuff up, that stuff needs to be clean and we can just start bolting stuff back on the motor. I actually do need to buy the, dang it, I forgot. See, this is why I should have made a video a week ago. I need to get order the AC delete bracket. It's like $350 for this simple little bracket. It's stupid and it's an OEM part. It's like, what the hell? So I gotta order that crank bolt and the uh, crank tool thing. So it's a couple things left, but we'll go out there. We'll take a look at these bushings real quick, I guess. Maybe I can get a little bit of wrenching in this video. It should only take like two seconds to change if these are the right size. I can show you guys the new vehicles. So sitting here going through all the stuff we got. Head gasket, lower timing cover. We got this whole box of new thermostat. Uh, trying to just like organize where stuff is going to go together. I put a bunch of the turbo stuff together there. Uh, this bag, I just went through. There are so many seals and different bolts and washers and just so much going on in this big ass bag alone. And I took some of the stuff out of that that I needed to take with me tomorrow. Um, crank bolts, you know, all that stuff. And then there's the whole bag just for timing stuff. Got that separated a little bit. And then I found all my new injector seals and stuff. So I'm gonna send those with the injectors, get those cleaned and tested, make sure they're good to go. Um, 
guess that's all I really need to take with me. We'll run out here, look at the cars, throw these bushings in, or see if they fit, and then throw them in if they do. Now I gotta get a hold of eBay, get the right oil line, because they sent me one that definitely does not fit. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a whole process, kind of stressful. Getting everything together, saving up money, spend a bunch of money, saving up money, spend a bunch of money. Trying to figure out what's best, what isn't, how to time everything. It's just on top of work, two dogs, just sold my house, so now that's off the plate, but just so many things going on. Man, it's so weird to think because I've like gotten a ton of subscribers since the trans blue and the car has been down. But if you're an OG, you already know. But here's another look at the car. She's obviously down right now with no motor, no trans, but uh, I'm going to pull this stuff out of the way real quick and we'll uh, get to that sway bar. I need to clean up the engine bay a little bit as well, but we got that. We got, uh, we got our Kirky in there just chilling, a whole bunch of parts in and on top of the car. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait to drive this thing. I got my little area. This, all these bins are just full of parts. Um, we got the new trans right here. Still waiting on that uh, that new fancy shifter from shop that, but we're we're getting there. Oh yeah, so I got a new one of these. I can probably throw that away. I need to reuse this, reuse that. A couple of things here and there. Oh yeah, this that comes in handy. I need to dig out my injectors today though. But there's that and. Here's the new gal, my new Jeep, 4x4, four four, or not 4x4, four four, I guess it is 4x4, four four, all wheel drive. It's got the V6, nothing too crazy. I uh, got it for a really good price, like I said. It's all leather everything, heated everything. It's pretty dope, I really like it. Even the, even the back seats recline, I don't know if you can tell on camera. It's got, I think like 11 different speakers, the sound system in this thing's baller. We got the moon roof. Thing's dope. And you got a little button for the hatch. And then the thing just pops open by itself, which I find pretty convenient. Um, obviously, it's an automatic. Got plenty of storage space. Um, it's dope. I really like it. Highway getting about 30 miles to the gallon with the wind. Can't argue with that. It's even got this little slide thing to go over, over things. You got a little button right here. Boom. Like I said, it's on air ride, so I can back up to the trailer, lower it down, throw it right on the hitch, raise it up, walk away. It's really nice with it. Really, really like it. But uh, let's get this stuff out of the way here, and then we can see if these bushings fit. Oh, I almost forgot to talk about hers. She got a 1500 diesel. Thing's nice. Pretty much all the same stuff that I have. Um, it's dope. Really spacious, air ride. 3 liter diesel, getting about the same gas mileage as I do on the highway. It's a little bit taller, way heavier, but it's it's nice with it. Very happy with our purchases, and she's got the bed cover on it, the and like the what's it called here? It has the uh, strut in it, so it like just won't slam to the ground and all that. It's nice. I really like it. Really like it. it's big though. Driving this thing compared to the Jeep is like whoa. But uh, made out pretty good, I think. 2021 doing as good so far. Got everything moved out of the way. It's literally just two bolts under there. It's a 13 mil. Got the electric ratchet. Should make this pretty quick and easy. Hopefully, I got the right side. Come on. Well, I learned some things today. Uh, the 23.3 millimeter front sway bar bushings for the Golf R do not fit. They're 24 millimeter. So I gotta send this back to FCP along with my old rear main seal and uh, get money back for the rear main seal, get the right bushings for this, send that oil line back, get the right one for that, and send my injectors out, get those cleaned and tested. So. Never ending. You think you're you're making progress, and then uh, two steps back. <laughs> that's it's a life for you, I guess. That's cars for you. Now my radiator's in the way. Can't close the garage door. Oh boy. All right. Well, that's all I got for today, guys. 
hopefully the next video we're picking up the motor and the head or the bottom end the head whatever you want to call it and uh bringing it home to start get it back on the stand start slapping things together it shouldn't take but not even a week a couple hours after work every day just wrenching and getting things done i had to run a cherry picker again and I said, I still got to order the seat stuff and all that. I got to put fender liners back in. I got to do alignments, corner balancing. The hatch just hit the United States over the weekend. So that'll be coming. And I still need to source Lexan or put the OEM glass in that for now. Get new seals for it. So many little things. But I really want the car ready for TX2K 2021. It's like mid-March. So I have like all of next month plus like a week to get corner balance get all this stuff done and tuned so we'll see if we make it thanks for watching catch you on the next one so that's all i got thanks for watching hit that like button and i'll catch you on the flip-flop